Thank you for attending tonight's informational open house. This open house will address the design of two projects along State Road 518 or O'Galley Boulevard from west of Interstate 95 to east of Sarno Road and on the I-95 ramps at the State Road 518 interchange. The financial project identification numbers included in this design effort are 439-778-1 and 439-779-1. The purpose of tonight's open house is to provide you with an opportunity to learn about the proposed improvements, to ask questions, and to provide your input. You are encouraged to view the exhibits set up around the room and to speak with project team members. Sam Jumber is the FDOT project manager and Joseph Kiesel is the project consultant. The Florida Department of Transportation is conducting this meeting in accordance with all state and federal regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act. Title VI requires that public participation be solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, the FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator, or Jacqueline Paramore, the FDOT State Title VI Coordinator, at the addresses shown here. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. The FTOT used a number of methods to notify community members, officials, and other interested persons about this open house. Invitation letters were sent via email to 18 elected officials, 16 local appointed officials, and seven local and regional agency representatives. Invitation letters and a copy of the open house flyer were sent by U.S. Mail to about 312 property owners and tenants. Open house flyers were hand delivered along the project corridor. Advertisements were placed in the May 19th edition of the Florida Today newspaper, as well as the May 22nd Best South edition of the Florida Today newspaper. Notices also were placed in the Florida Administrative Register and the public notices section of the FDOT website. The goal of this design effort is to improve safety and operations on State Road 518 and at the State Road 518 and I-95 interchange. Project number 439-778-1 refers to the improvements along State Road 518 from west of Jones Road to east of Sarno Road. Design improvements call for adding an additional eastbound through lane on State Road 518 east of I-95 adding bicycle lanes on eastbound and westbound State Road 518, and making turn lane and signal improvements at the I-95 interchange. Project 439-779-1 refers to the operational improvements at the I-95 interchange. The design calls for widening the southbound I-95 off-ramp to lengthen the dual left turn lanes to State Road 518. The southbound I-95 on-ramp also will be widened to accommodate additional turn lanes from State Road 518. The proposed improvements to the northbound I-95 off-ramp include modifications to provide two right turn lanes and a left turn lane onto State Road 518. Additionally, the free flow right turn would be eliminated to increase pedestrian safety. State Road 518 is classified as a multi-lane urban principal arterial. To the east of I-95 through the project limits, State Road 518 has two through lanes in each direction with turn lanes at John Rhodes Boulevard and Sarno Road. Under I-95 and to the west, State Road 518 has one westbound through lane and two eastbound through lanes. There are left turn lanes from westbound State Road 518 to southbound I-95 and from eastbound State Road 518 to northbound I-95. Lane widths along the project vary from 11 feet to 14 feet. There is a raised median on State Road 518 east of I-95, a two-foot utility strip, and a five-foot sidewalk. 
The proposed typical section for State Road 518 west of Interstate 95 calls for two eastbound through lanes and an eastbound right turn lane. There will also be a five foot eastbound bicycle lane. Westbound, there is one through lane and one left turn lane. The design also calls for new 10 foot shoulders, five feet of which will be paved. Additionally, new concrete sidewalk will be constructed on either side of the roadway. On State Road 518 under I-95, the design calls for two eastbound through lanes, one westbound through lane, a westbound left turn lane onto southbound I-95, and a center lane that will be divided to provide left turns to I-95 from both directions. From east of Interstate 95 to John Rhodes Boulevard, State Road 518 will be widened to accommodate three eastbound through lanes, two westbound through lanes, and dedicated turn lanes from eastbound State Road 518 to John Rhodes Boulevard. The design also calls for creation of a five-foot eastbound bicycle lane, a four-foot westbound bicycle lane, and five-foot concrete sidewalks on either side of the roadway. On the east side of John Rhodes Boulevard, there would be three eastbound through lanes, a five-foot eastbound bicycle lane, two westbound through lanes, a westbound four-foot bicycle lane, and a westbound left turn lane to John Rhodes Boulevard. The existing concrete sidewalk on either side of the roadway would remain. The proposed typical section for State Road 518 approaching Sarno Road calls for two westbound lanes and three eastbound lanes. There would be a dedicated bicycle lane on each side of the roadway. The outside eastbound lane would transition to the right turn lane at Sarno Road. The southbound I-95 off-ramp would be widened starting north of where the ramp connects to State Road 518. This widening will accommodate two lanes coming off of I-95 to improve the flow for the dual left turn lanes from southbound I-95 to eastbound State Road 518. The southbound I-95 on-ramp from State Road 518 would also be widened to accommodate two lanes of traffic coming from State Road 518. The northbound I-95 off-ramp would be modified to create two right turn lanes onto eastbound State Road 518 and a new left turn lane onto westbound State Road 518. The project also would eliminate the free flow right turn to increase pedestrian safety. Traffic turning right onto State Road 518 would be required to stop and to proceed when it is safe to do so. The design project began in June of 2018. This informational open house is being held in conjunction with the completion of the phase two plans. Input received through the public involvement process will be considered in the development of the final plans. Final plans are expected to be submitted for review in September of 2019. The project is scheduled to be let for construction in July of 2020. The estimated construction cost for Project 439778-1, or the State Road 518 improvements, is about $2.2 million. The estimated construction cost for Project 439779-1, the I-95 interchange improvements, is about $2.9 million for a combined total of about $5.1 million. Your input is very important and there are a few different ways that you can participate. One way is to complete the comment form you received as you signed into the meeting this evening. You may complete the form while you are here and place it in the comments box or take it home and mail it back to FDOT project manager Sam Jumber at the address shown on the form. You may also provide comments to Mr. Jumber via email at samuel.jumber at dot.state.fl US. All comments received by June 17, 2019 will become part of the public record. We encourage you to learn more about this project and to follow its progress by going to the FDOT Central Florida website www.cflroads.com. The website contains links to easily access online information and to stay current with the status of the project. 
Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule, contact information, and to access project files such as this presentation. Each of the projects included in this design effort have a page on cflroads.com. You can find the projects by typing in either project number 439778-1 or 439779-1 in the search bar. You can also locate the projects by going to the Future Projects tab and clicking on Brevard County. If you have additional questions or would like more information, you may contact FDOT Project Manager Sam Jumber by phone at 386-943-5244 or by email at samuel.jumber at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Project Consultant Joseph Kiesel by phone at 321-354-9762 or by email at jkiesel at dewberry.com. We'd like to thank you for attending this evening's design open house. All of the information provided will be included on the project webpages on cflroads.com. We encourage you to view the project exhibits and to speak with members of the project team. Please remember to provide us with any of your comments by filling out a comment form or sending an email to us. If you have missed any portion of this presentation, please stand by as it will begin again shortly.